I think common to all my ideas is the involvement of people and an interest in people and what they do. And I felt that was really important to bring this aspect into the designs for these medals. The idea for the front of the medal, the obverse, is to represent the spirit of the town prize. In my eyes, I imagine a piece of silk flowing and carrying the energy and the spirit of the Tang Prize. It's also partly inspired by the logo itself and how the Chinese characters look like two people striding forward, carrying knowledge and culture from east to west and west to east along the silk route. The background is the scanned texture of real silk to give it some flow and to give some subtle reference to the real material, and that's very important to me as a maker. My design for the Rule of Law Award category for the Town Prize is that the surface bears lots of imprints from lots of hands and I based myself in the London School of Economics and the Law Department and invited scholars, professors and students, anybody involved in law, to take part by pressing the surface with the palms of their hands. It's about people so it was important that I collected the evidence of someone's pledge and the spirit of taking part it's not just one person, it's actually all of us that are affected by the rule of law as citizens. Another example of actually involving people to come up with an idea is the design for the Synology category. And that's made up of the eight basic brush strokes that make up Chinese characters. I've separated them out and made them into stamps and I gave them to people at SOAS and they were students, again scholars or professors that are studying or teaching Sinology, Chinese studies, to be involved in the design. Each person chose a brushstroke and came together onto the same piece of modelling clay and a pattern began to form and interesting exchanges took place and that was really important to get that into the medal. For the other categories, the biopharmaceutical science, I've referenced the material gold much more and it's a material I've worked with before in my work. I know it quite intimately and I love the colour and the feel of the metal. If you go further in gold and you go down to nanoscale, so nano gold, it starts to take on different qualities. Something so small that can carry a message is really interesting to me. So I use the idea of nanogold particles together, thousands of tiny spheres, and within that is a message that says one day in Chinese characters. And one day here references one day a cure could be found. It can also express one of these days I will reach my goal or I will get there with my research. So it gives an element of hope to the design and that was quite important for me to get across. Finally, the last design for sustainable development is perhaps the most personal because on the surface are marks that are made by a gold bangle that my mother gave me. What I'd like to do and my proposal is that that bangle is recycled into the material for that medal and also the proposal is to have it cast or stamped in fair trade gold. I thought it was really important that the person receiving an award for great work in that category would appreciate an object made in a sustainable way and using sustainable materials.